In my last video, I covered the basics of how to find and edit a Genially template. This video will continue with Genially, showing you how to make additional changes, such as adding extra answer choices, adding extra buttons and interactions, as well as mixing multiple templates. For instance, this question only has two answer choices, but what if you wanted four? It's easy to do. So the first thing you need to do is make some space for the other buttons. So I'm just going to resize everything. So if I come over here, you see how that makes a little box around it. If I click in it, now I can resize it. So now I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the text box. So I click in it, and then it allows me to just kind of move it over. And I'll come back in a bit to make it look nicer. So I've got the right answer over here. I'm going to go and resize this one. Again, I'm just clicking in it and moving the background icon over, or the shape. Now I'm going to move the text over. And it's just going to be a date, so it's OK. Make it a little bit bigger. OK, so now what I have to do is copy this little icon for the background. So right-clicking on it, you should have the option to copy, or using Control plus C. So if I copy it, now I can either right-click to paste it or do the Control V. I often do Control V, but whichever is easiest for you. So now it's going to make a blank one, and I'm just going to move it over here. Now I'm going to make another one because I want four choices. So again, I'm doing Control C, but again, if you want to do right click to do it, that works too. Oops, Control. So I pasted it, I'm just moving it over. And now the text boxes. So again, I'm just going to copy that text and move it over. Let's see if I click, oops, not that one. There we go. Move that one. Then I'm going to paste again. Oh, keep wanting to grab that. Just goes to show you can really grab anything in these. So let me click that. And there we go. Now, because I copied this one originally, it's going to save all the interactions that had before that knows to put it to the slide that says you made the wrong choice. So let me put some answers real quick. So, oops, click that. So I got the right one. I'm going to put some wrong ones. So again, I'm just clicking in it. some wrong answers. Okay, so now I have four different answer choices. So as you can see, it was pretty straightforward to make additional answer choices. All you really had to do is copy the button for the wrong answer, paste it a couple times, and then change the answer choices. But what if you wanted a slide where you wanted to add another answer choice and you couldn't just copy one that already existed. That also is pretty easy to do. So let me give you an example. I'm going to come down here to slide 20. This is a spot where you have one person left and the player is supposed to click on them to continue on. But let's say this guy, who's the alien, is trying to convince the player not to do that, but instead to approach him. So I'm going to add another answer choice. I don't have one I can just copy like the other ones, but that's still real easy to do. So first thing I got to do is come over here to resources and click on that. Let's say I want him to be talking, so I want a shape. But let's say if you didn't want a shape, you have a variety of other things you could do. But for this one, I want a shape where he's talking. So I'm going to go to the show more and I'm going to find a, a speech bubble. So I'm just going to scroll down, 
And here we have some. So let's say I want this one. I click it once, and now it appears. Now, just like the other one, I can move it around. I can make it bigger. This is what ultimately is going to be the next button. But before I do that, let me put some text on it. To do that, I'm going to come over here to where text is, click that, and then choose what size. I'm going to just do the subtitle one because it's a little bit smaller. Now it paste it. And just like before, I'm going to click, see on the edge so that I can move it over. And now I can edit it. So let me move this over and then maybe down. So let's have him pleading. I'm going to come up here and change the font size a little smaller. So in this one, I'm going to have the alien saying he's not actually the alien and to come closer. So now I got the text and now I need to make this, this icon right here, the text one, what, when they click it, what it does. So I'm going to come up here to where it's interactive. Click that and I'm going to say go to page. Now, because they're approaching the alien, instead of calling him out for being what he is, the alien's going to infect them. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to find the slide that's basically like a game over. And then say, save. So now, because I just made a big change, it's important to test it out. So again, I'm going to come up right here to where the preview is and click that. So they're at the part where there's only one left. Normally, they, they, they just need a click on the, the guy to reveal he's an alien. But with my new choice, they just come up here. They're going to click to approach. And they get like a game over screen. So I just added a new button. And as you can see, it was pretty easy. Now I'm going to come back down to the edit. Okay, so now I've covered how to add additional questions as well as how to make new buttons or interactions. But what if you wanted to combine multiple templates? That actually isn't that difficult, so let me show you how. So originally when I made a recent escape game, I used this template, or at least I started with it. But then I found I didn't like one of the directions for the missions. So let me just show you. So I'm hitting the preview. I liked the spy feel to it. I like the layout. I like some of the missions. But when I go to mission two, it's all about choosing the shape. And no matter where I looked, there was nothing that explained what the purpose of any of this was. Students, I guess, are just supposed to guess. I just didn't see what the point was. So eventually, you just have to guess, I guess, until you got the right answer. But I just didn't see where this code came from or how it benefited or anything. So I decided just to scrap this whole part and to add a different section. So I had found another one that was kind of a, a spy or mystery type template. And I decided I'm going to take those slides instead. So I'm going to come back to edit and show you how I did that. So the first step, I tried to find the location of where I'd be putting everything. So it's going to be about like right here, because it's right after mission one, right in between two. I'm going to go to add page right up here. Now it's going to ask you, where do you want to add these pages from? So I could either choose from my creations or the current one, but what I really want to do is click Genially templates. So I'm going to go over here to gamification and I'm going to find one of the other escape games that I like. So I'm going to scroll down. They're usually at the bottom. And I chose this one. So I click here. 
for the horror escape game. Now it's going to show all the slides from that. I basically like the whole little game. So what I did is I grabbed the beginning of the game. And see, I'm just putting little, Natalie, Mr. Ch little checks Natalie, in all the slides that I want to keep or basically copy over. So I like that part. I like some of the clues. And you don't have to copy this many. I'm just doing it because that's what I did for the original game. So I just copied these. Now I hit add. I don't really worry about the background so much. So now you can see it just copied all of those over there. Now, the key is none of the interactions or the, the, the things that tell what to do copied over. So the trick is, is now I gotta go to the first part which, which would send them to mission two. Well, that's up here. Right here. So normally, students would click this box here for mission two to go to that other section. Now, I don't want them to go there. I want them to go to the new slides I just added. So I gotta go and change that interaction. So see, I clicked on it. It's, I gotta change that. So I'm gonna click interactivity because it's going to where it currently goes in the slide, but I don't want it to go there. I want it to go down to the beginning of the templates that I just added. So that's gonna be right here. And I hit save. So now when they click on mission two, it's gonna send them to the first part. So right here, where they're going to have to find the key. So let's just test that out to make sure it works. So I'm gonna scroll up go here, I'm going to hit preview, I'm going to hit continue or start missions, now I'm going to go to mission two, and you see now it's taken me over to this part here, and that's exactly what I need. So, so you can see this one's about finding the key, click that. Now see, this is something that tells me I gotta go add the interactions to everything else. So I go back up here to edit. I go back down to that slide. Now I gotta go find that key, just right here. And I'm gonna have to customize it so that when they click on it, it takes them to the next screen. So I'm gonna go over. This is where the current page is. So when they open it, it needs to go to the next page. And I'm gonna hit save. And so now I know when they move the spotlight over and they see the key and click, it's gonna take them to the next page. Now I also see they have a home button. That also is gonna need to be changed. So I'll need to go up to interactivity, click that, and take them back to the home page. That could either be the very beginning or that first one which has the mission. And then hit save. So then I need to go to the next one. So there's a couple different interactions. When they click this, I must just make sure I'm gonna test it out. I think this is a tooltip. It's closed. Okay. Cancel. But this one, I gotta make sure that it connects to the next slide. Because when I copied all of these pages over, it did not remember all the interactivity. So I just need to click here. And I gotta make sure once they click that, that they go up the stairs to where the piano is. So that's gonna be basically the next one. And hit save. So. I scroll back up and let's say we want to test this out again. Let's start from this page. 
click preview. Let's go to mission two. So now instead of that thing where they're just hitting numbers, they're going to this new house. I'm looking for the key. There it is. I click. I'm now in the house. This one's still that text. And now I should be able to go up the stairs. Click that, and there I am. So let me go back to edit. So the key is you have to go through after you've copied these other slides and just test out all the buttons. A lot of them you're going to actually have to go and manually put them to the right page. But is it you just saw it wasn't really that laborious. It didn't take that much time. But this is how you can combine multiple templates if you want to make something a little bit more elaborate or fun.